Hello, and welcome to week six. I am Josh Jackson, and I have the privilege of covering this week's topic in our eight-week fit journey. Uh, my topic this week is plateaus, reasons and solutions why we all, frankly, run into plateaus and how to overcome those obstacles. So uh, let me start by saying this. I believe this to be a very important week because any of us that are here as coaches probably started as a product user looking for results and through the uh, great results that we got through these world-class products realized that, wow, there will be others out in our world that certainly deserve to know about them and are frankly looking for the same answers that we found uh, solutions for and wanted to do that. So let me, let me say this. For any of you that do not know my story, and be very brief on this, I do not come from a nutrition background. I was a business major at Ohio State. I was a former athlete at Ohio State and like to think of myself as a coachable person. I uh, was always told what and how to do in terms of nutrition. When I got out of school and got into working and married and three kids and chasing and doing those kind of things, I looked up one day and about five years ago, found myself probably 20 pounds too heavy. Didn't feel good. My wife was not really looking for weight loss, but experiencing some fatigue issues and frankly not feeling very well. I turned to one of my very closest friends uh, in Brock Meadows, who most of you know, who helped us along, got us on a program that worked, and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. So what I would say in, 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 in hitting this week's topic is this. I've had the privilege to work with a lot of folks now at this point through these world-class products. And this program, guys, that is put together now every week, and everybody has done a phenomenal job with this up until this point. I, I'm excited every week to watch all of you. Uh, and Andrew Sweet, great job last week there, and caloric intake, and trying to build upon that, understanding that plateaus are going to happen. And frankly, they are the number one reason people are going to fall off track or get discouraged. And like any good coach, right, if we are prepared and can kind of see the future in advance and know that it is coming, and be there to be that encourager and hug them around the neck and kick them in the rear end when they need that uh, to help them get back on track and provide solutions. So I would say to anybody, again, it's not a 24-day fix, 24-day program. And frankly, it's not just an eight-week program, an eight-week fix. We're teaching people how to be accountable, how to be prepared for a lifestyle moving forward that they can, honest to goodness, continue up with and keep up with for the rest of their lives. So this is what I would say in, in understanding what a plateau is, is according to Brock here, the body has a regulatory mechanism that works to keep the amount of energy you consume in balance with the amount of energy you use. So I'm a simple guy. Let me break it down a way I can understand it. The body essentially does not like to lose weight. It's not normal for it to do so. So let's put a positive spin on this, guys, as we're coaching people and helping people. While everybody that I work with doesn't come here to lo lose weight, the far majority of people that we are working with do have a little bit of weight to lose, some a lot of weight to lose. And frankly, it's not going to be accomplished in 24 days. Frankly, many of them aren't going to be accomplished in eight weeks. But if we can get their attention through the quality program that we have, which we know we all do, and then help them on this journey continue to understand that you will reach these plateaus, but we're going to help you break through them. That's a very positive thing. It's a great thing. In fact, when somebody is experiencing that, that's our opportunity to let them know, hey, this is the body's way of saying you conquered this routine at this point, and now you're ready for the next stage. So like any rut that we get into in life, be it our careers, your marriage, um, I mean, I just honestly, I mean, you have to give time and attention and reassess and make adjustment, adjustments accordingly. Uh, I'm a football guy. Urban Meyer doesn't make 5 or $6 million a year to make decisions when they're all easy to make. He gets paid that kind of money as a good coach when things start not going right. And he's got to, again, be able to know what to do when that happens. So if we can help folks with a few simple things, okay, getting the proper amount of calories, Concentrate on increasing lean muscle through resistance training. And talking to Brock very quickly, more exercise is not always better if you overdo it. But frankly, he says if he stops resistance training for a week, he could lose up to six, seven pounds. I would venture to guess most of it is all going to be muscle. And frankly, but if you're not doing anything with that muscle, send it my way. I'm happy to use it. 
But that's helping people understand that through their exercise and their regimen, that's something that we can continue to help them with. So what do you do? You help keep your body nourished with supportive foods and quality nutritional products. Um, and then you help them with an exercise routine that a couple, three times a week, no more than 20 to 30 minutes of cardio and adding that, that exercise there would be a fantastic thing to do. And then with the assessment that we have here, and I won't go through all of it, but helping people understand signs their nutrition plan is working, asking questions that, hey, are you satisfied after meals? Are you in a better mood? Are you sleeping better now? Do you have more energy more consistently, not dragging around like Renee and I were all the time? Uh, in your workouts, as you've gotten into those, then now hopefully you're stronger and you have more endurance. And frankly, lastly, your habits feel more like a lifestyle than a diet. So guys, as I wrap this up here and be respectful of your time, help others understand that this plateau is coming, okay? That through your great quality coaching in 24 days is not going to solve every problem. But as you move on through this eight-week journey here, every lesson you can take from and make adjustments and help them understand that, that yes, we've got to be tough on them, but be a cheerleader and hug their neck at the same time. This is what we do in AvoCare. So I get the privilege of passing uh, this off now to uh, AJ and Carrie Ann Pratt, who have lesson number seven. And that is overcoming obstacles. So I know they'll do a great job. Have a great week and God bless.